With the acceleration of China's naval modernization, the new generation of Type 076 amphibious assault ship has become an important part of the maritime combat force. According to the latest news, Type 076 amphibious assault ship has entered the outfitting stage. Its design and equipment of advanced triggered a wide range of military experts from various countries. One of the biggest highlights of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship is its electromagnetic catapult. The application of this cutting-edge technology not only marks a leap in the Chinese Navy's aviation combat capability, but also reflects the in-depth thinking and strategic deployment of aviation combat capability in the absence of ready-made vertical, take-off and landing fighters. At the same time, the 076 amphibious assault ship adopts the double island design, which has aroused great interest from the outside world. This design is not only in the 076 type on the British Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, Italy's Rialto class amphibious assault ship, South Korea's CVX carrier program, India's Vishal program, Russia's Storm program, as well as a number of US aircraft carrier bidding case have been applied, which is a clear indication of its popularity in the global arena. The dual island design of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship is expected to have a displacement of 40,000 tons. Such a design will undoubtedly bring about a qualitative leap in the Chinese Navy's ocean-going combat capability, and at the same time, it also highlights the Chinese Navy's technological advancement and the remarkable improvement in carrier construction capability. In modern naval ship design, the dual island design has become the common choice of many national navies due to its unique tactical and technical advantages. And the dual island design of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship is based on an in-depth understanding of these advantages and a comprehensive consideration of practical needs. The double island design can effectively enhance the ship's damage resistance. By dividing the island into two independent parts, it can reduce the overall impact of individual damage when the ship is attacked. At the same time, the fore and aft island design also improves the ship's seakeeping and aviation capabilities. The forward island can provide superior forward vision, which is favorable to the ship's maneuvering, while the aft island can provide a broader deck vision for the dispatch of the ship's aircraft, thus improving the efficiency and safety of aviation operations. The layout of the power module has a direct impact on the island design. As the Type 076 amphibious assault ship adopts gas turbine as the power source, which requires short and straight inlet and exhaust pipelines to guarantee the power output. In order to meet this requirement and avoid affecting the use of the flight deck, the double island design becomes the best choice. A set of chimneys is set up in each of the forward and aft powerhouses, which ensures the power output of the power packs by shortening the length of the intake and exhaust piping. The twin island design also provided an additional advantage for aircraft maneuvering. The efficiency of air operations, can be significantly improved by providing side elevators between the ship islands. This design increases deck turbulence while optimizing the aircraft landing and takeoff process, achieving improved operational capability. In ship design, the island size trade-off is a complex process, involving the consideration of many factors. For the Type 076 amphibious assault ship, the dual island design is a balanced choice among many possibilities. Compared to a single oversized island, the double island design can significantly reduce the superstructure footprint, which is favorable to the ship's stability and navigational performance. The double island design allows the island to be separated from the smokestack, thus providing greater freedom in island design. By spacing out the forward and aft powerhouses, it not only improves the ship's damage resistance, but also provides more space for aircraft scheduling and deck operations. However, the twin island design is not without its drawbacks. Compared to a single small island, a double island does create more deck turbulence, making it more difficult to land and take off carrier aircraft. However, this drawback pales into insignificance when compared to an oversized island, which creates greater air resistance and deck occupancy issues, affecting the overall combat effectiveness of the ship. Through this trade-off, the Type 076 amphibious assault ship chose a dual island design, a decision that reflects the design team's ability to find a reasonable compromise between ship performance and operational requirements. This design not only reflects a deep understanding of existing technology and tactical requirements, but also demonstrates the Chinese Navy's prudence and confidence in the modernization process. The double island design is not unique to the Chinese Navy, but is becoming a trend in carrier design around the world. The UK's Queen Elizabeth class carriers, 
Italy's Trieste class amphibious assault ships, South Korea's CVX carrier program, India's Vishal program, and Russia's Storm program all use the dual island design. The choice of dual island design for the carriers of these countries is not due to chance, but is based on an in depth analysis of the operational capabilities and technical characteristics of the carriers. The dual island design can provide a better view of aviation operations and scheduling capabilities while enhancing the ship's damage resistance and survivability. For example, the UK's Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, whose dual island design not only enhances combat capability, but also optimizes the layout of the island's radar and electronic systems, improving the overall combat effectiveness of the carrier. Italy's Rialto class amphibious assault ship and South Korea's CVX aircraft carrier program, through the dual island design, to achieve a more flexible scheduling of carrier aircraft and aviation operations, but also to enhance the stability of the ship's navigation in complex sea conditions. India's Vishal program and Russia's Storm program, on the other hand, have strengthened the carrier's tactical versatility and self-sustainability through the dual island design. These examples show that the dual island design has become an important direction of modern aircraft carrier design, which can not only meet the needs of the ship's combat capability, but also bring innovation and breakthroughs in technology. 076 Amphibious Assault Ship Design It is to learn from these successful cases, combined with the Chinese Navy's own characteristics and needs, forming a dual island design program with Chinese characteristics, with the application of electromagnetic catapult technology and other advanced equipment. The Type 076 Amphibious Assault Ship demonstrates the Chinese Navy's determination and strength in scientific and technological innovation and independent research and development. The successful application of this technology not only improves the takeoff efficiency and load capacity of the carrier aircraft, but also provides a broader space for the development of future carrier aircraft. At the same time, the adoption of the dual ship island design also reflects the Chinese Navy's maturity in ship design and tactical utilization.